Yo, and welcome back to this Guild Wars 2 guide. What I'm going to show you today is two of the easy dailies that you could get that are very, very easy to do and are totally worth it. You should do these dailies anytime you see them. Sometimes they're individual one day, sometimes they're both on the same day, and that's a good day when they're both on the same day. What these are is one of them is a PvE daily, super easy to do, and another one is a world vs. world daily. But you don't have to do any real actual world versus worlding. It's very simple. I'll show you. So, first thing is you want to look at your dailies. Right here, we have daily world versus world big spender. You gotta just spend 25 badges of honor. Very simple, very easy. So let's do this one first. When you when you check your dailies, if you have big spender, you should always, always do it. So the easiest way to do it, well, you go to your world versus world. You can either, you know, hot key B or you can tap the little tower here. And instead of like looking through all any, any of this, just go to Edge of the Mists. It's just way faster, so just go. It, it, you can save yourself time and effort by just going to Edge of the Mist. Uh, once you're here at, at the Edge of the Mists, um, you don't have to go far, you don't have to worry about anything. All you have to do is look for this guy. Siege Merchant. Sometimes he's a little further in, depending on like which starting area you start in. He might be in a slightly different spot. But you're always looking for the Siege Merchant. He'll have the little Siege Kettable. Talk to him, and he's gonna, he'll, he'll like, oh look, you can buy these mats for coins, but you don't want to spend coins. You want to click on the second tab, and you get badges. Now your goal is to spend uh, a certain amount of badges. I always buy three catapults because you can sell these back and at least make some money off it. So I just get three of these. Boom. Daily world versus world spender. Easy. Now, why does it matter? Why it's a big deal? Well, one, it's one of your three dailies done for the day. If you do three, you get an easy two gold. So it's always worth doing. But the real reason is when you do it, you get this chest. In this chest, gives you more badges of honor, so you're already getting refunded uh, 10 of the 24 badges you just spent. So you just got back half your badges, so it's not as expensive at all. The real thing, the resonating sliver doesn't mean anything, no one really cares unless you're a scribe. What really matters is this. You get one potion of world versus world rewards. This potion let's, fills up a, PV, a world versus world reward track, just like in PvP. By drinking the potion, you can just get a little bit of this. The best use for that is for things like Gift of Battle. Because if you want a uh, legendary, you need a Gift of Battle. But let's say you loathe World vs. World. Well, by getting these uh, potions, you can drink them up and you can fill up your entire thing. You'll never actually have to do any actual World vs. Worlding. Uh, as you can see here, I have 87 in the bank, so I now have 88 of the potions. And I've been holding on to those. Um, so that's what you want to do. You just hold on. I'm holding on to them till, I, till End of Dragons comes out. We'll see what I actually can do with them if I need them for anything. But uh, yeah, stockpile those every day and do that. So that's one very easy daily. Now the next very easy daily is called the Mystic Forager. And I'll show you that now. So here we are in Lion's Arch. I figured I had to come here because it has the actual Mystic Forge. So this is the easiest place to go. But you don't have to come here, you just need to use a Mystic Forge conduit or whatever. Like I personally have my own in my inventory. I have this. But you, you, this works too. So the other daily that we're talking about is this. Daily Mystic Forger. If you see this, you want to get this as well. It is extremely easy and I will show you. So all it, all it is is you need to talk to, you have to use the Mystic Forge. Uh, you can basically use whatever you want, you just need to use some, something. Uh, if you want to save the most money, you can just use the easiest thing. So what I would do is I'd go to the bank, get materials, and then what I would do, just out of convenience and how quick it is, if you, let's say, you, you again, it can be anything. You can literally take just like the very first four easy items right here, and go over to, you know, oh, don't fall in though, whoa. Uh, talk. Actually, don't even talk. Just use the forge. And then place the items in, like this. Just click them, or you can drag them however you want. And hit forge. Boom. And you're done. It's that easy. And the reason why it's very important to do this daily, not only is it very easy to do, so you can get one of your three dailies done, 
but it's also really useful because the item you get in the chest there we go you ready boom this your mystic coin uh, it's very hard to get mystic coins in this game they're mostly time gated you get them by logging in there are a few events and there are like things that you can do to earn them but most of them are required doing like high-end fractals and stuff or uh, again there's an event you can do every once a day for it and this is another way to get it so if you see this daily do it you want your mystic coins a mystic coin by themselves right now selling for look at that it's more than the gold you get for doing the dailies it's worth more than a whole daily on its own so yeah you want to do mystic coins they're needed for legendaries they're needed for armors they're needed for everything so you want your mystic coin so yeah those are the two very easy dailies to do they're not every day sometimes there's one sometimes there's the other and sometimes if the stars align you can do both on the same day and that's a good day but uh yeah that's it don't forget to do those check on those every day and always make sure you do them it's worth it um thank you for watching this guide i appreciate it and i will catch you guys in the next one till then stay super